beautiful morning, beautiful afternoon, and beautiful evening to every one of you, my professional nurses. How we are doing, guys? How was preparation for our skills? Uh, I'm super excited, guys. You won't believe it. Today, I got over 21 messages, passes. Oh God, you don't know how happy I feel when I see your messages saying, Miss Holly, thanks for your help. I passed my own skills out. Guys, well done. Nurses, intelligent nurses, articulated nurses. I'm super excited for all of you who have passed your own skills out. Welcome to your band five rules. Like I keep saying, more than the sky is definitely your limit. All right, guys. So guys, if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Violet Okolacha. I actually talk about everything about oski and nothing here in the uk if this is what you want stay tuned and watch to the end and don't forget to share with your colleagues preparing for oski exam all right guys so today i'll be talking about removal of catheter so removal of catheter is actually a skill you can get either in your old test of competency which is your legacy oski or in the new test of competency it's really so simple all right guys so come with me and let's dissect remover of catheter all right guys come with me so don't be anxious if your assessor tells you assume you check for sin safety assume you provided privacy if your assessor tells you like that it means she loves you she wants to minimize your time for you so if she tells you like that proceed to your and hygiene all right guys so i assess my scene i see my scene is safe to approach i provide privacy for my patients then i do my hand hygiene according to world health organization palm to palm right palm over left dorsum vice versa fingers interlace fingers interlock fingers interlock rotation of the thumb rotation of the thumb tips to the finger tips to the finger and the wrist so my hands are clean i cannot proceed to my patient hello hi my name is violet and i'm one of the nurses who will be looking after you today can i please confirm your full name and date of birth with you please my name is Haley brook perfect and your date of birth my sweet 15th february 1940 lovely can i double check that with your wristband please. okay i have here Amy brooks date of bed 15 february 1940 hospital number 10010 assessor with the paperwork in my hand i can confirm i have the right patient helly please do you have any allergies at all to full drug lattice or they please no i don't oh perfect so helly that's perfect helly the reason i'm here today is because the doctors are happy for us to take off your catheter is that okay? Yeah, it's is this okay. Is this a convenient time for me to take off your catheter? Yes, it is. Lovely. So, Haley, I have to let you know that when I take off your catheter, you may have some symptoms like urgency of urine, frequency of urine. You may have some pains and you may have some mind irritation. But don't worry. Those are the normal symptoms when a catheter is being removed all right okay so if you experience any of those symptoms don't be worried just let us know okay all right so Haley, another thing i'll let you know is when i take off your catheter after taking off your catheter when you want to pass your ring just let us know as well all right okay lovely so Haley, i'll be leaving you with a call bell and i'm going to assemble all my equipment all right okay so guys before you proceed to assemble your equipment it is very important for you to check the catheter so i'm going to checking the catheter bag now i can see there is no urine visible in the catheter bag and of course in your exam day you shouldn't see any urine visible in the catheter bag but if you see you say i can see that probably there's 100 mils of urine in the catheter bag all right so guys proceed now to your hand hygiene i will strongly recommend you use two gloves and two apron for the skin so watch how i'm gonna use two gloves and two apron so let's do a hand hygiene guys oh my god this skin is too simple palm to palm right palm over left dorsum vice versa fingers into this fingers into lock fingers into lock rotation of the thumb rotation of the thumb tips to the finger tips to the finger and the wrist so my hands are clean i can put on my apron i put on my glove Guys, please, I want to beg you, validate your equipment. It is very vital in your OSCE exam to validate your equipment, all right? So I put on my apron, I put on my glue. So in majority of all the centers, you may notice that everything you need for this procedure has been set up in the tray. 
on the trolley if that's done just confirm from the accessor accessor can you confirm my equipment is clean and ready for use then you can proceed to using it all right so now i put on my apron and my glove So I'll be validating my alcohol wipe. So this is my alcohol wipe. The expiry date is 2024. This is still valid and I'm happy to use it. So I'm just going to be taking out a strip and I'm going to be cleaning my tray in a zigzag manner from the farthest point to the nearest point. Lovely. So my tray is clean and this goes into the clinical waste. I'll take off my apron. I'll take off my glove and I'll do my hand hygiene. So guys, this is my hand hygiene, palm to palm, right palm over left, those on, vice versa, fingers interlaced, fingers interlock, fingers interlock, rotation of the thumb, rotation of the thumb, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, end of wrist. So guys, my hands are clean and now I'll be validating my equipment. So I need an echo, I need a gauze. This gauze is valid and the expiring date is 2026. All right. So I pop this in. I will be needing a 10 mm syringe. So this is my 10 mm syringe. The expiry date is 2025. This syringe is valid. I'm happy to use it. I pop it in here. So I will be needing a cleaner wipe. This is my cleaner wipe. It's valid. The expiry date is 2023. I'm happy to use this. I will be needing a normal saline. So this is my normal saline. Is valid. The expiry date is 2023. I'm happy to use it. So I pop this up. I'll do my hand hygiene again. Oh, you're definitely passing your oski, guys. Let's go. Do your hand hygiene again. Put on your apron. Put on your glove. Then you go over to your patients. So, on your OSCE exam date, you are going to get a documentation of how many meals of urea, uh, sorry, of how many meals of water was used to inflate the catheter. You're going to get a documentation that probably 10 meals of water was used to inflate the catheter or probably 20 meals of water was used to inflate the catheter. So, definitely you are getting a documentation. Now, if you don't get the documentation, ask your assessor. And if you don't want to ask your assessor, I'll show you something. When you look at it there, it's also written how many meals of water was used to what inflate the catheter. So guys, I've assembled all my equipment again. I've put on my apron, I've put on my gloves, and I'm going back to my patient. Hello, Mrs. Haley. I'm back. Okay. So, Mrs. Haley, are you still happy for us to continue? Yes. Lovely. So, Mrs. Haley, I'm just going to put a drip on that you. Is that okay? Okay. So, guys, if you look at my patient, my patient already has a drip. All right. Don't laugh at my drip. My patient already has a drip on her. And your Oscar is and your patient is also going to already have a drip on them. All right. Lovely. So, Mrs. Haley. Like I told you, when I take off your catheter, you're going to be having some, you know, urgency, frequency, pain, and mind irritation. Is that okay? Okay. So, Mrs. Haley, are you happy for me to expose you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to expose you now. All right. Okay. So, Mrs. Haley, when I want to take out the water that was used to inflate your catheter or used to put your catheter in place, I just want to tell you to take a deep breath for me. All right. Okay. I'll let you know when. Is that okay? All right. Lovely. So, what I'm going to do now i will advise you guys on your sk exam day verbalize that the patient's urethra that the patient's genitals is clean all right so i can see my patient genitals is clean there is no need for me to clean the genitals all right so i'll take off i'll take my syringe now and i will inflate I will deflate the catheter. So this goes into the clinical waste. Make sure your hand does not touch the tip. Now, this is where you're going to take the catheter off. All right, guys. So if you don't see a documentation showing you how many meals of water was used to put the catheter in place, you'll see it here, a second round. Maybe they'll say 10 meals or 20 meals. So now I'm going to take off the meals of water used to inflate this catheter in place.
you may experience this in your exam you may see it as you're taking it it's crumbling don't worry that's not a problem just put it back so guys i've taken the meals of what i used to put the scatter in place and this goes straight into the clinical waste so Haley, yes. i'm just gonna ask you to breathe in and out for me is that all right okay lovely so breathe in and out for me darling lovely breathe in and out again breathe in and out again breathe in and out again fantastic that's all done for you, Ellie. All right. Okay. So just assess the tip of your catheter. For sure, guys, you're going to get a catheter tip that is okay because the patient is in as in is a mannequin. You know what I mean? So I can see this catheter tip is okay. I'm not worried. All right. All right. So I'm just going to be assessing the catheter now. I see there is no urine visible in the catheter. If there were to be urine visible in the catheter, I'll first of all empty the urine before putting the catheter into what into the clinical waste because there is no urine visible in the catheter i'm just going to put the catheter into the work into the clinical waste so now you have to clean the patients why will you clean the patient probably when you're collecting the catheter you know when you're collecting when you're removing the catheter from the urethra there may be some urine splashes or urine stain so it is important to clean the patient so take your alcohol swab This goes into the clinical waste. Clean your normal saline for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you allow it to dry for 30 seconds. All right, so I have my apple swap. Open now. I have my I have my normal saline now. So open your normal I have. open your gauze. Guys, don't mind me. I'm so confused. I've been doing too many online class. So open your gauze now. This goes into the clinical way. So now I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour this in here. So this goes into the clinical way. So what you want to do, you want to clean the genitals. If he's a man, you just clean the prepples. That is the top of where the urine came just once. But if he's a lady, you have to clean either three times or five times. Now, how do you clean? You take one of the gauze. Clean the Libya Majora. We're just improvising. Clean the Libya Majora one. This goes into the clinical waste. Clean the other Libya Majora ones. This goes into the clinical waste. Then clean the what? The main genitals, which is the front. Just clean the main genitals. You will try like this once and this goes into the clinical waste some other school of thought says clean five times so how do you clean five times you clean the libia majora once on one side clean the other libia majora once is that not twice now then clean the libia minora once clean the other libia minora once is that not four times then clean the front of the genitals five times so is your choice either you do three cleaning or five cleaning and after cleaning you take away the drip from the patient sorry darling i'm just gonna take away the drip from you all right okay lovely and this goes into the water into the clinical waste so mrs Haley, i'm just gonna advise you to drink enough water all right all right i'll advise you to drink like 2.5 liters to 3 liters of water every day i will advise you to do some mind exercise all right okay lovely and i will advise you to let us know once you pass any urine all right okay and if you experience any of the symptoms i've explained to you like urgency frequency pain and irritation just let me know all right okay so guys i'll take off my apron i'll take off my glove and it all goes into the clinical waste ready for the next use all goes into the clinical ways then make sure your equipment are clean ready for the next use i'm gonna do my hand like gin now palm to palm right palm over left those on vice versa fingers interlace fingers into lock fingers into lock rotation of the tongue rotation of the tongue tips to the finger tips to the finger and the wrist so Haley, do you have any more concerns for me no i don't all right lovely so i'm going to leave you with a call bear and i'll document everything i've done for you all right okay so i'll make sure i clean my equipment ready for the next use guys that's all about removal of catheter really really simple so guys don't forget to share my videos with your friends preparing for all ski exam and don't forget to get in touch with me if you have any queries or any reservation i will see you in my next video and until then keep passing your all ski exam i love you all guys bye